Hi everyone, Chrissy Jessica here. Welcome back to my channel. So I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but I'm a little bit sick. Well, a lot of bit. But before I complain the whole video about how sick I am, let's just jump into today's video, which is our monthly favorites. The first monthly favorites of 2017. Woo! Okay, so I'm going to first talk about Jeffree Star new liquid lipsticks this is uh no tino shade and this is pussy whipped and this is what they look like on your hand i've already used this t more than twice but you probably only saw it twice i use this um on new year's and i've used this in my full face using only liquid lips challenge i kind of tried to use this as highlight but my skin tone as you can tell is now milky white and this is a little too dark this would be a banging highlight though for me in the summer when I'm darker. Um, but yeah, maybe I'll try that challenge again in the summer. Probably not. But um, this is No Tea No Shade and I love this color. I forgot where I wore this out to but I got so many compliments on this color. And they're both shimmery. I don't know if you can see it in my lighting because my lighting sucks. So these were my two favorite lipsticks. Of this month I don't have any more makeup products unfortunately I've been really sick and I haven't got my butt out to Ulta or Sephora to buy new makeup I'm sorry don't worry I told you that 2017 was gonna be the year of major buildup of my vanity so don't worry I have a million brands that I know I'm gonna buy and invest my money in so don't worry next month there will be so much makeup and probably no time for other products but i wouldn't invest money into another brand that i liked which was lush <laughs> i bought 80 dollars worth of products this month from lush and here are just a few of my favorites um actually before i talk about my favorite randy actually has a monthly favorite which was his Kalamazoo face and beard wash. He is obsessed with that. He uses it in the morning and the night and His face feels amazing and it smells amazing. So I guess it's from that So I probably will have to be repurchasing one for him. But yeah, I just wanted to let you know that Randy loves his um, I don't know if you remember but I talked so much ish about this when I first got it I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna like this. This is the olive branch. It's a shower gel I didn't know if I was going to like this because it does smell kind of manly. As you can tell, I got over that manly scent because this bottle's almost done. Um, I love this now. It leaves such a pretty scent after the shower and that's why I'm obsessed with it. And yes, I will be repurchasing this because I am obsessed. Another couple of things that I liked were Jersey Bounce, which is a shampoo and... I didn't get to talk about the feeling and everything on my uh, haul, my Lush haul, because I actually didn't use these two yet, but now I, I wrote what I felt about them in the description, because after the video I actually used them. I'll talk about it a little bit right now. So Jersey Bounce is a beautiful shampoo. It has like a weird smell to it, but once it's in the water and like you like feel it, I'm not going to take a glob out, but there's actually like grains of salt in there and it leaves your hair so pretty as if you went to the, like you know how you go to the beach and your hair feels like all bleh and then you go home and wash and it feels amazing. It kind of does the same thing as this. So I'm kind of obsessed with that. And then putting... American cream which is a conditioner on top of it this has such a pretty clean scent that it just makes your hair smell amazing for days after washing and it leaves your hair feeling so soft and pretty much creamy and I'm obsessed with this and I will most likely be repurchasing these again once I'm done but first I'm gonna clearly try other things another thing that I kind of became obsessed with was mask of magaminty and this looks like, every time I put it on, it looks like guacamole, kind of, because it has, like, these little, like, brown things in it. And I'm just sitting there, like, staring at it. But, yeah, um, it kind of smells like clearly mint, but also there's, like, a hint of, like, something else, and it makes it smell like frosting. <laughs> so, 
I'm like obsessed with it. Every time when it's on my face, I get a craving for frosting. And so I kind of haven't been obsessed with bags ever really in my life. And I got this for Christmas from Randy's mother. And I haven't had a need or a want to change the bag. I don't know. Maybe I just am simple. But i kind of been obsessed with it and I didn't even know. So yes. Another thing that I want to talk about is I switched from using regular milk to almond milk. Um, this has to go with the whole vegan thing. I'm working on steps to become a vegan. I've got a lot of messages from people on YouTube who have given who have gave me great advice. Uh, one girl told me to go vegetarian first and then step it up, but I'm gonna start replacing things slowly much slower than just replacing meat altogether. Um, I've been eating very less meat than I used to. I probably have meat once a week now. And I know that's not where I want to be, but especially when I'm sick, I need chicken noodle soup. And I'm not trying to make excuses. It's just what I'm used to. And yeah, I should take the plunge, but I think with my well-being right now, I'm just gonna start replacing things slowly and then work my way up. Anyway, back to almond milk. Um, this is actually not the brand that I like. I've tried two brands. This was the one brand. This is Silk, and then I tried something called Breeze. It's probably more stuff within the name, but yes, I tried something called almond breeze milk i don't know what it's called exactly but the breeze one one this one um iffy about but yes i get the vanilla one because i don't particularly like almond milk by itself but what i realized and this could be also a monthly favorite i made a cereal but it's not really cereal you get raw granola you put some of this in it and some cinnamon and it is bomb and yeah, that's pretty much been my breakfast every single morning other than now because I've been sick and I've been eating soup around the clock. The next thing I want to talk about is the game Skippo. I have been playing this game for probably three months now and I've been like pushing this back and back because I love this game and yes, I play a million games within a weekly period, but since we found Skippo, I've only been playing Skippo and yeah, I became obsessed and I didn't want to talk about this yet because I did not want to stop playing this, which I'm not going to stop playing it altogether, but I would have to go buy more games. If you guys want to see how to play and watch me and Randy play, let me know. I will film us playing this game. We get really so into it. It's like a strategy game. So like if I have a five on my pile and Randy has like a three, he has to build up to a three and then like pass my five so I don't put down the five. It's it gets hectic. It gets we get really competitive during this card game. But yes, I've been obsessed. Another monthly favorite are my TV shows. I'm just sitting here like, duh. Um, so, TV this month. I can confirm that I have finished both series of Gilmore Girls. The first, the original series, and then the Netflix original series. Hopefully they bring it back because, holy crap. The ending was crazy ridiculous. Oh my god. I'm not going to ruin it for you, but you need to watch it. If you were ever obsessed with Gilmore Girls ever in your life, watch the netflix one oh the ending they better bring it back because i need to know what happens and i need to know i need to know okay i'm not gonna spoil it because i hate when people spoil things for me not really i'm the person that's like tell me i need to know but anyway me and randy started a show actually together we started two shows we finished the one show it's called heart of dixie um, it's on Netflix. I don't know if where it was before, but it's about a girl. She's a New York doctor. She's a surgeon. She gets a letter and she finds out that her real father lived in Alabama and he has a practice and all this crazy stuff. He passes away and gives her the practice and then she settles down in Alabama and it's just such a cute show. And if you already watched it, let me know who you think she should have wound up with. Anyway, shows that I watched alone this month were Crown. It's about Elizabeth II. 
Um, I don't know if you guys know this about me. I love history. I've always loved history. History is a little bit of a passion other than makeup. Um, I watch a million shows that have to do with history that are some made up facts and mostly not made up facts but i love the crown it was a good show i can't wait for season two to come out let's go netflix get filming anyway another show that i stumbled upon huh do you remember stumble upon okay anyway random thought a show that I stumbled upon was a show called Love Sick. Um, me and Randy were going to actually start this show together. Thank God that I didn't because I got through this show within like two days. Yeah, that's really bad. But anyway, there was two seasons and they were short seasons. Um, I hope they bring it back because that was a really good show. And then now me and Randy started a series of unfortunate events, which I was so excited about, but... I thought it was going to be more of the movie. Like, a lot of lines are the same in the movie, but they, like, I guess dragged out a, each scene a little bit longer, and, like, they switched it up, which is fine, but I'm so used to the movie. Well, not used to the movie. I haven't watched it in, like, 15 years, however long it's been since that movie came out. Probably, like, 2002, so what's that? But, yeah. Um... I hope it gets a little bit better because it's, like, taking a weird turn right now. Um, I'm not going to spoil that for you, of course. But, yes, if you know any of the shows that I talked about, if you liked any of the shows that I talked about, let me know. If you have any requests in videos or any suggestions on shows that I should watch, let me know. Um, yes, if you have any questions about the products that I talked about today, let me know and... Thanks for watching. Thank you for trying to listen to me being sick. Uh, hopefully, I didn't ramble on as much as I think I did. Good thing for editing. Alright, please like this uh, video and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in my next video. Yay, hopefully I won't be sick. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye, guys.